Welcome back to my channel and flight music. If you're new here, my name is Ian and today we're continuing my MIDI composition and tool series with Captain Deep. And we've been covering a company called Mixed and Key, which makes the Captain plugins. Right here is Captain Deep, which is one of those Captain plugins. Before we already use Captain Chords, I'll leave a link in the description down below because you definitely want to start with that video. This is what Captain Chords looks like. We actually created this in that video and we're going to use this MIDI information in conjunction with Captain Deep. So after you've used Captain Chords, as soon as you load up Captain Deep, you'll get this screen that says connect the plugin to Captain Chords to activate this tab click connect and immediately it picks up the chord information and creates a bass line for you. So let's take a listen to what the chord sounded like before Captain Deep. And now let's go ahead and add in Captain Deep to that. I'm going to hold alt and click Captain Deep and that allows you to bring up both of your plugin windows at the same time. perfectly in time, perfectly in key, and all we did was literally click one button. And just like before, you should be familiar with the top here where you can create a verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and a drop. So you have multiple sections where you can go in and create variations of your bass line. You can also do MIDI in, which allows you to use the MIDI from your DAW into Captain Deep or any of the Captain plugins plugins. Then you have this play section, which allows you to play in key no matter what. So whatever key this is set to, which is E minor, all the notes on your typing keyboard or your MIDI controller will be in E minor, even if you hit a wrong note. So let's hit F, which is outside of E minor. And you can see that it moves that note down to E. So it's playing the E, which is obviously in E minor, to make sure that you stay within the scale. So it's not gonna let you hit a wrong note. So here's how you make the bass line more interesting. So right here on octave, it's set on first. Let's scroll through the different presets here. So it dropped it down an octave from where the chords were at, but you could go all the way up to a sixth. but obviously that doesn't sound like a bass anymore. So let's go back to zero. Now let's look at shape. Right now it's on follow the chords, but we have three other options here. So let's go to opposite movement. <laughs> so that got really deep. So this is where the octave would definitely come into play. This one is minimum adjustment necessary, so less movement within the chords. So it works, but it's definitely much more boring. And last we have don't change melody. Which literally just leaves it on one line. Out of all these, I definitely recommend leaving it on follow the chords, at least for my style. But here's where the fun happens. Let's go into rhythm and get into changing what the bass line is actually doing in terms of how interesting it is. So just like in Captain Chords, you have basic, simple, complex, and new. Let's just take a listen to some of these. Those were all basic ones. Let's go into complex. I feel the complex moves away from the more hip hop style bass lines into more EDM style bass lines. And then let's check out some of the new ones. That just sounded off, to be honest. So yeah, I would say some of these new ones are slightly even more complex than the complex ones. But last but not least, you could actually change the sound. So just like all the other Captain plugins, Captain Deep is also capable of playing its own sounds. Right now we're on Ollie bass, but you can see we have quite an array of different basses and plucks here. Let's check out this 808 boom bass. And let's change the rhythm back to something more basic. Yep, 
You also have control over reverb and delay. I'm actually gonna turn this all the way down. You also have some options of types of reverbs here. I would say these definitely come more into play with plugins like Captain Melody and Captain Chords. However, it does make sense because they do include a lot of plucks in here. So this is really a plucking plugin as much as it is a bass plugin. So definitely use it for both. In fact, let's go ahead and switch to the saw pluck and let's change this octave up to a fifth. Not a very plucky pluck. Let's uh, try a standard pluck. There we go, there's a standard pluck. And this is where the reverb and delay would come in. So let's go ahead and add some reverb. Let's try a plate and a little delay. Ping pong sounds good. And you also have a nice little filter here. So let's make this a little darker. Volume control. And then of course you have the option to drag this into your DAW. So you could drag this onto any of these channels. Those aren't really great examples of the sound selection inside of Flex because we were just in the general MIDI library, which is something new that they just added. I didn't even realize this. But yeah, I'll definitely have to make a video where I cook up using only Flex because it's super underrated for sure. But until then, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Comment down below if you have any questions. Peace out.